Hey guys, I'm Britton Lynn and welcome to Inside the Huddle. Today we're going to get to know sophomore tight end Michael Williams. Back in high school at Pickens County, Williams was ranked the number 26 defensive end nationally by ESPN.com. Rivals.com also listed him as the number four defensive end and the number 10 overall prospect on the Alabama Top 35 list. Now let's meet the 6'6", 270 pound tight end, Michael Williams. After being awarded the Bart Star Most Improved Player Award in spring practice, this season's sophomore tight end Michael Williams finally earned his way into the Alabama starting lineup. He's a very good blocker. He's got great size. He's very athletic. He's got good hands. Uh, we probably haven't utilized him in the passing game a whole bunch, uh, but he's very capable, uh, and he's been a very consistent player for us. And um, Mike's got a great attitude, worked hard, and uh, really done a nice job. Um, just to get my body, my body in shape, get um, a lot of jugs, because that was probably the most, the biggest question mark for me coming into the season was my receiving skills and. Just a lot of jugs, a lot of hard work. Once you um, you wait in line, wait your turn. Um, it feels good to get get out there and get your half of the pie. You know? Oh, Michael Williams, he was my roommate when we first got here, and I remember he got redshirted, and then last year he played a little bit, and then this year he's just doing such a great job, just being every down tight end for us, um, run blocking, going out there making receptions, um, special teams as well. So um, he's an important player for us. He's done a really good job. He can he can catch the ball. He can block. He's worked hard in the weight room. He's gotten a lot bigger. You know, sky's the limit for a guy like that. You know, he can run also. So he's uh, he had that big big catch against South Carolina, and uh, look for him to have a big season the rest of the way. Mike Williams, that's a, I mean, he's a great player. I mean, I mean, you don't really see bad things out of Mike. I mean, he he goes out every day and practice hard, and he I mean, he know he plays tight end. He plays a lot of special teams, and I mean, one thing Mike does, and that's he gonna, he gonna do his job. Not only was Williams the star tight end at Pickens County High School, but he also spent time on the other side of the ball as a defensive end. And Williams wasn't just an average player on the D-line. He came out of high school as one of the top defensive ends. Some college football recruiting sites even had him ranked as high as the fourth best in the nation. When guys have played on both sides of the ball, I think they have a better overall big picture understanding of you know, concepts of football that you try to teach. Obviously, if he has to block a defensive end, he knows what he was coached to do when he was a defensive end. So that can be helpful to him being able to execute better now as an offensive player. So it just kind of expands your resource of knowledge and information so that you can develop more quickly. It prepared me, um, I, I would probably say conditioning-wise. It was just something that we had to do in high school because of the roster we had. We probably had 30 people on our team, so we had a lot of people play both ways. And well, I think it's really special because playing both sides of the ball, I mean, you know what the guy in front of you is going to be doing and vice versa when you're, when you're on the other side of the ball. He's taking a lot of personal responsibility as far as he knows that, uh, you know, his play is very important to the run game and the passing game. And uh, it's been fun to watch a guy come in, you know, from defense and move over and do as well as he's done. You know, at first he was struggling blocking, and then he decided he wanted to work on his routes, and now he's really become a complete player. So, you know, it's really something. It's fun to watch somebody come from ground zero and work their way up to, you know, a very good player like he is. I mean, he's an athlete. I'm, I, I hear, I've never played with him, but I hear he's a good basketball player too. So he's just an all-around athlete. And that's, you know, an athlete can handle something like that, especially somebody like him with such a big frame and, um, you know, the willingness to learn. Mike's a guy who, uh, who came in with, in my class as a defensive end and, you know, uh, we played there for a while and then switched to tight end. So he's had an interesting journey. But, uh, you know, Mike is a great guy who is, really has all the talent in the world and who really has done a great job of stepping up and filling that, uh, you know, why or you know what we call the why is, is like the tie down the line of scrimmage role. Uh, he's done a great job, I guess, filling Colin Peake's void from last year, and uh, you know has just really improved in every way. You know he's he's become a really a threat as a, you know a receiver also as well as improving his blocking. Williams said his favorite part about playing for Alabama is his teammates and being a part of the Crimson Tide Brotherhood. Reporting from Tuscaloosa for ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Burton Lynn. Well, that's all for Michael Williams, but make sure to come back here next week as we get to know junior wide receiver Darius Hanks. After spring practice, Hanks won the Ray Perkins Receiver Awards for his work in the 2010 spring drills. 
If you guys have any comments or player suggestions, make sure to leave your feedback on my website at www.brittonlin.com or on Twitter at, at Britton Lynn. Thanks for watching Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Britton Lynn.